I know you were one of the first to come in, like, with really good conditioning. And what I did is, I, you know, experimented with my body. You got to remember, you know, I came into the late 80s, into the 90s. And, and in the 70s, bodybuilders were following just very low carb diets, you know, before a show. They would just eat fats and proteins, took out their carbs, and that's how they would diet. Now, I did that diet at first, and I'm like, this diet makes me feel like crap. I can't follow this diet. And then I read about a, <laughs> a, a guy named Barry Sears. You know, basically, it was a diet of 40, 40, 20. I, I followed more of a diet, of a balanced diet of, you know, 40% protein, 40% carbs, and 20% fat. And that worked best for me. You know, I never carb depleted. I came in, you know, known as one of the most shredded bodybuilders, and everyone goes, oh, you must eat no carbs at all. No, I ate a lot of carbs when I dieted for a show. My metabolism was 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 faster. You know, I take I took in good fats, and I was taking in, you know, fish, salmon, um, olive oil. I was making sure that I followed that 40, 40, 20 rule. When I got closer to a show, you know, I would lower my caloric intake to get myself to get leaner and leaner and leaner. When I got closer to the show, I always told people I was ready two weeks out from a show. When I was ready two weeks out from the show, what would I basically do is I would stop doing cardio. I would decrease the intensity of my training. And what would happen? My body would start slowly filling up with glycogen. And I would get myself from that two-week mark to the day of the show, putting on me sometimes, you know, three, four pounds just of glycogen and, and getting myself to look a lot tighter and fuller. I really didn't do any type of, you know, carb loading the last couple of days. I didn't need as much protein. So I cut my proteins and I would eat complex carbs, you know, into the show. And then the day before, sometimes I experiment with simple carbs, you know, I'd eat, you know, you know, even stuff like, you know, crap, you know, and eat, you know, say donuts or, you know, that fats and sugars before a show. Cause my body was so ripped that taking in something like that didn't really hurt me, you know, when I, when I got into the show. So a lot of it, you know, when you saw that video and go for the gold, I was experimenting with, with my body with carbohydrates, you know, back then it's like a carb is a carb. And I'm like, no, I, I, I see a difference if I'm eating pasta, white bread, um, and or any white flour products, and I ate a certain amount of carbs with my protein, then I cut out gluten, and I was eating like sweet potatoes, rice, oatmeal, I saw the difference that my body wasn't holding water. So then I started reading about it, and I found out about, you know, people that had gluten sensitivities, and I said it was gluten. I said, even though I don't have a gluten issue, I did notice that when someone was ingesting gluten that they would hold water. So you never see a bodybuilder dieting on bread, you know, or, yeah. or, you know, or, or pasta, you know, actually I was eating a gluten-free pasta. Yeah. I, I remember. Oh, it was like artichoke, 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 pasta, artichoke, I think yeah. it was artichoke Nepal's pasta. Artichoke. Yeah. So you use your, you use your would, mom's marinara sauce or is it, no, or is it, I, I, or is it gravy? <laughs> no, I would use my own. I think, you know, if you saw me like when I was dieting, I mean, there was, you know, there's a lot of, you know, pork in there and I, I didn't really like that. <laughs> I, 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 like I said, I was very strict with dieting. Food was a means to a source. It wasn't an enjoyment for me. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, eating was just a way to get myself to look a certain way then, you know, and that's, that's what I did. You took, you took a path of more recovery into the contest and most people would just push harder. Yes. So, and, um, while, and, while and I was with, reading, you would, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, I just go ahead. I mean, it, it just, I seen guys going to shows when I went into the Olympia, I never had a gaunt face. I actually, my face was a little fuller. So people thought I wasn't in shape. And then when I got on stage, they're like, holy crap, he's shredded. You know, so <laughs> that whole thing of going into a show where you're emaciated, you shouldn't go in and do a show like that. You should be able to get the most glycogen into the muscle when you're on stage because you see guys that end up pigging out um, after a show and they look better two days after the show because yeah. they're, they over -dieted. They always over -diet. 